All right, hey guys. Uh, this is my uh, this is my motor on my 2014 uh, KTM 1190. Um, I had uh, I had a problem with uh, some ticking, so I found out that I had a broken valve spring. I went ahead and replaced it, but I screwed up when I did that. Um, unfortunately, my timing chain slipped, uh, so I went ahead and uh, replaced the spring and got it all all back together. Uh, I've had a really difficult time uh, finding out some uh, some references. Uh, there's some, there's some pretty good sites. Uh, I'll I'll try to post that in the uh, in the uh, whatever section below the video. Um, so I just want to go over timing r real quick. I hope I got this right. Uh, this is probably like my fourth time doing this here. So hopefully this one's this one's the right time. You know. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna go and dive into it. So I got uh, kebab sticks right here. Boom. Cake. Drop that bad boy in. And that tells me where the uh, where the piston is in the cylinder, so I already have one place there. And then of course I got my handy dandy wrench. Go ahead and turn it over. Okay, this is an LC8 motor. Could be wrong, but the timing on LC8 should all be the same. So go ahead and rotate this to top dead center. So it's probably 180 degrees out. Pardon me. Yaw. Yeah. All right. Now, these pistons are 75 degrees apart. Each piston fires once. For every four, no, shit, in a, in a four-stroke motor, the piston fires one time. So it's two pistons. Imagine this was a parallel motor. One piston fires, and then the other piston fires, while while the other one is going through its cycle. It doesn't go both at the same time. So this is just 75 degrees apart. There's a little bit of math here. There's 360 degrees. Um, for each, each, each four stroke cycle, one piston fires, and then while that one is cycling through, the rear cylinder fires. So while this is at top and center, this is doing all the other mumbo jumbo during the, uh, during the four stroke cycle. So, keep, remember that 75 degrees? It's 285 degrees of rotation before this piston fires. So it goes... Oh, okay. It's about 180-ish. There's about 270-ish. And then... Right about... 285. Boom. All right, now to verify, over on the other side of the on the other side of the motor, there's a hole, and there's uh, this is just a little just a brass cleaning rod for that pew pew life. Shout out to Colin Newer, right? All right, now to verify, I just apply a little pressure. And it drops right into a little notch. That's it. So the piston is in fact top dead center, verified by the notch. It's also verifiable by my little kebab stick. So I'm going to rotate it back the other way. All right. Top and center again. All right. It took me a lot of time to compile this data. There's a really good website. Um, now, when I originally timed this today, or sorry, when I set up the timing today, um, I messed up. I followed the manual. I 
followed the shop manual and it said to rotate rotate the motor 75 degrees can't remember if it was clockwise or counter I think it was counterclockwise but I had to reset the timing from the, from the beginning I use a front cylinder in the manual they use the rear cylinder so I probably just just messed that up so following this this website I was able to compile the 285 degree rotation until the next firing sequence of the rear cylinder so hope this helps maybe not this is my first ever video so sorry for the jumbling uh, good luck <laughs>